What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is a brand new update Samsung has pushed for a Lockstar, one of the good lock modules, which adds a brand new feature. And this feature is gonna be quite useful because now we can add additional widgets on the lock screen. Now let me show you the version number here. As you can see, the version number is 5.0.0.24. And in the change log, it says added widgets on lock screen and always on display. Now, if we have not enabled this particular good lock module, uh, this is the kind of lock screen we are getting and when we tap on this clock we get these widgets here and when you tap on the settings here we can uh, customize these widgets we can reorder these widgets or enable or disable some of the widgets here which are available by default now music weather today's schedule next alarm modes and routines digital well-being galaxy buds live manager these are the widgets which are uh, available by default on the lock screen and we cannot add any more widgets from third-party applications or from uh, the default apps on the phone. But now this has changed. Uh, I was expecting this feature to come on One UI 6.0, but looks like Samsung has already added it on the GoodLock module. Now let me go back to the GoodLock and uh, open LockStar module. As you can see, this is LockStar. I have turned this off. We have got both lock screen customization and the AOD customization options here. Now let me enable the lock screen customization and I'll tap on this. As you can see, I get to customize all these different items of the lock screen using this particular module. I can tap on the clock here to add additional clocks. As you can see, we can increase the scale here and we get all the additional clock options apart from the default ones which are available on the phone. Uh, there are plenty of them available here and uh, when you tap on uh, this lock icon even this can be customized here we get various different lock icon designs here and we can also change the colors of these icons as you can see now let me go back apart from this we can also customize these icons at the bottom the shortcut icons now i'll not get into detail for these items uh, let me just show you what exactly has changed what is new in this particular iteration of lockstar let me tap on the area here as you can see earlier we just had the add sticker option and uh, one particular widget was available that is the music widget but now we have got an all new option here you can see add widget let me just tap on this here you go we've got all the third party as well as the default app widgets available here and we can set them up on the lock screen now that is just fantastic like i said probably this was supposed to be landing on the one ui 6.0 but this is already here on the good lock now you can see if you want to set any battery widgets you can set it on the lock screen we've got uh, the third party widgets here uh, have installed bing so we've got bing widgets here uh, then we have got bixby vision calendar clock contacts etc now let me just pick one of the widgets here i will tap on calendar uh, let's set this particular widget on the lock screen again we can customize this we can change the transparency of this uh, particular uh, widget i will just save this here and here you go we've got the calendar widget and this is not available by default, so we are setting this up from the Lockstar module. We can tap on this widget to customize it. As you can see, this is the only space we get here. I can just expand this to make it look bigger. And if you want to add additional widgets in this area, I can just decrease the size of this widget and I can again tap on this area to add more widgets. But uh, it will be a little cluttered area there uh, to add additional widgets. It's a very tiny space that we have got. Uh, let me try adding one more widget here. Let me add uh, maybe the uh, Samsung internet just for this video's purpose. Uh, I will just save. As you can see, we have got this widget as well, but this is not well aligned here. Uh, it's almost touching this widget. Even if I expand it, uh, it is not coming, uh, it is not setting up properly here in this space. Uh, so this is attached to this particular widget. Probably the good lock team will have to work on uh, the uh, alignments here for these widgets within the space, or maybe they can increase the space for these widgets. They can allow us to expand these widgets to the entire lock screen, at least in this particular area. Now let me just remove this. This doesn't look that great. I'll remove it and I'll just tap on this widget and I will expand this. Now let's uh, save this particular widget. Now let me just lock. I have already enabled the lock start here. I will lock the phone and unlock it. As you can see, we have got the calendar widget showing up on the lock screen. This is great. You know, you can even set the reminder widgets, notes, anything you want on the lock screen now. Let me just unlock and let me turn on the AOD. Now let's try to customize AOD here. I'll tap on AOD option. Now here I'll tap on this space. As you can see, we've got add widget option. I'll tap on this. Now let's add uh, maybe some other widget here. I'll add the battery widget. I'll tap on this, I'll tap on add. This is how the battery widget would look like on the AOD. 
Now let me add some other widget here. I'll add probably the calendar widget itself. I'll save it and this is the calendar widget. Again, the space is a constraint here. I will have to remove the other one here. Let me just remove this. This is how the calendar would look like on the AOD. Likewise, we can add the third party widgets as well. Let me just try to add some other widget here. Let me add Samsung health widget. I will add uh, steps and tap on add, save. As you can see, we've got the steps widget on the AOD. This is just amazing. We have got all these informational widgets now on the AOD as well as on the lock screen itself. This is how the AOD would look. I have set up these steps and uh, we can see how many steps I have covered on the always on display itself. This is the additional feature we have got with this all new update for Lockstar module. If you have been using Lockstar, go ahead, update it and start using the new widgets on the lock screen as well as the AOD. This is definitely a great feature which Good Lock team has added on this particular good lock module that's all i want to share with you guys let me know what do you think about this update if you haven't subscribed to the channel already go ahead hit the subscribe button and become a part of apex community to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye